Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited today to share with you not one but two short wigs and this is going to be a great wig. I'm so excited. I'm literally going to show you how you can just get it out of the packet when it arrives, shake it out and wear it straight away. And the wig I'm going to be showing you is called Sheila from Godiva Secret Wigs. Now I am wearing Candice right now. This is Thin Candice in Ginger Brown. And I've customised this wig to suit me. I've cut the length and I've cut a bang into this. And this is the wig I've been wearing all day. But now for the night time, I want something different. So I'm just going to put Sheila on. And I've got two to show you. I'm so excited. So this is the shortest wig I've got. And it's a real dramatic change from wearing a longer wig to a shorter wig. But you'll see how amazing she actually looks. So I'm going to show you the inside first of all. So I've got two Sheila wigs to show you. I love them both. One is in ginger brown and one is in Irish spike. So whenever I get a wig from Good Irish Secret Wigs, the first thing I do is label what the wig is. So I put a label on the, the bag itself because this is how I store the wigs. Now, I also put a wig, wig clip in there. So before I've even tried this wig on, because I know I'm keeping the wigs because I love them all. Sometimes it takes me a little bit longer to get used to the style like Lisa Wig and Freedom. But once they're on my head and I'm used to them, I absolutely love them. And it's the same with this one. So I know I'm not going to send it back. I'm keeping the wig no matter what. So the first thing I did was sew in a wig clip. Now, this is a very light wig. Very light. I can literally hold it just with the tip of my little finger. And it doesn't even feel like I'm holding anything at all. So it's a very light wig. It's very breathable, very airy. And when you're wearing this wig, trust me, you don't even know you've got a wig on your head. It's that comfortable. It's just like your own hair. So all you need, because it's so light, is just one wig clip. So I've just sewn a wig clip in there. I don't need anything at the back. That's enough to secure it and hold it on my head. Now you have the choice, you know, you can wear it with a wig grip band or a wig cap or sew in the wig clip yourself like I have to hold it on. Maybe you don't want to wear it with anything, you decide or you want to pop a bobby pin in to secure it that way. But a wig clip is just such a nice natural way of securing your wig. So you can see you've got this gorgeous kind of wefty, not only at the back of the wig this time, but also through the front because it's very easy to wear. And the machine teasing gives it that height that you want without, you know, it, it like being too much. It's just right, this wig, it's just right. And, you know, at the back of the wig, you know, they've got the label, so you know how to put it on. You've got these straps. So instead of it being the adjustable ones you tighten up like a bra strap, these are more the ones with Velcro on that you just undo and put back. So, you know, these are just very light with it being a short wig. So look at the gorgeous ginger brown colour. So this one is ginger brown and I've got her in this gorgeous red spice. Now, same again, just put a little wig clip at the top there. Look at this colour, gorgeous. Now, these are my two favourite colours because ginger brown is very similar to my natural hair. It's actually exactly the same colour that I'm wearing right now in Thin Candies. So I love this colour. This is very natural to my own hair. And the red is kind of the colour I used to go when I was having my hair coloured. And the colour I kind of always wanted to be. Because I just love the reds. I'm all about the reds. I love the kind of, you know, lighter reds like this. But I also love the very deeper reds. I love auburn. I love um, like a mahogany. I love like a garnet glaze colour they do. I love all the deeper reds, but also the brighter reds too. I love chestnut, all those type of colours. So I knew in Sheila, I wanted two. I wanted one that was very natural to my own hair and one that was a bit different. And the Irish Spice is just gorgeous. I mean, look at this gorgeous colour, beautiful. And when it's on, it's stunning. And I do want Sheila in more colours. I want her in a blonde and I want her in you know, maybe something a bit different too. So I am intending on getting more Sheila wigs, but these are just so light. You know, which one do you like? Which one do you like? So 
What we need to do then is take off candy. So I'm going to put the bags over here. So I'm going to put this one on first because I'm going to be wearing this one for the night. So, you know, I've done my day's work today and now look at the time and it's five o'clock and I'm thinking, OK, I want to change for the night time. So I'm just going to unclip Thin Candies. And, you know, if you love this wig I'm wearing, Thin Candies, I've done many reviews on this one. She's gorgeous, okay? I've done a wig review on her long as she comes and customised like I've made her here. You know, I love this wig. She's one of my go-to wigs. She's gorgeous. So we're going to put Candice over there and we're going to put Sheila on. Now, my hair is, you know, very short now. I say very short, short for me because I actually had it cut in the summertime. But I am growing it back now and, you know, I'm really impressed with how much white's coming through because I'm growing all the colour out of my hair and I'm going my natural colour. And I'm hoping it's going to become like a salt and pepper colour, you know, that gorgeous kind of white coming through. But I don't mind what it does, you know. So when I'm wearing a wig, and this is a short wig, so I want to make sure you can't see my hair because of the length of my hair. I'm putting it in a ponytail on the third loop. I'm going to make my little bun. So this is how it looks at the back. Now, if you've got long hair, you may want to put it in two different braids and maybe braid it up or pin it up because this is a short style and it's a very, very short style. So you don't want anything peeking out at the back of the, you know, the, the wick. You want to take some time to prep your hair so you get it in right. So I'm going to unclip the clip and I'm going to stick it in and we're going to put both of our thumbs at the back where the label is. I've already adjusted the, um, you know, these Velcro tighteners so they are right for me. You can make them looser or tighter to your head. And I'm going to put the top of the wig about there, pull it on, tuck it all up, get the wig tab straight, which are at the side of every good Iris secret wig. You pull them straight so and flat to your face so they're like your own temples. And you'll see the dramatic change. So look at this. So we're going to put her on. I'm going to show you from the back how I do it. Okay. So you can see I'm just tucking my ponytail in there to give it that natural look. And I'm just pulling the side bits. And then, ta-da, we're going to pull her up. Now, literally with this wig, all I've done, I'm just going to is clip my wig clip it. All I've done is put a wig clip in, that's it. I haven't done anything else to this wig. So you can get this wig out, shake it out and put it on. Now, all I do is I use my fingers to move out of the way my own natural hair and then pull this kind of sideburn of the wig down, okay? So I'm gonna start around my face. So I've got it where I want it on my head. Just going to start around my face, just pulling it forward. And the best thing about these little short wigs is you don't need to cut a bang it because it's already there. So you can either have it over like that or up, or you can pull it over your face. And then I'm just going to use my fingers as a rake. I don't need to use a brush or a comb, even though you can. You know, you can get your brush on it if you want. But I just use my fingers and boof it up like this. Love it. I love how cute it is. It's a really cute short style. And this is the shortest wig I've got. And I really like it. And, you know, for me to wear this wig, I just wear it like this. Because I prefer my wigs a little bit flatter than a bit more volume or, you know, with a lot of height in. I prefer them a little bit flatter. So I just take a little bit of time to just do what feels right for me. And this feels right for me. So again, you know, you can either have it over like this or you can put it behind your ear, especially if you've got hair the same colour, you know, because it's very natural. Or you can have it forward. Now, I prefer it forward on me, but you've got the choice. And again, you can either sweep it over and have it like that or you can have it with your banging. And I know it's a dramatic change seeing me with such a short cut, but it's so nice and you know, the fact that I've never, ever in my entire life had my hair cut this short and now I can do it with a wig is just such a treat for me. And I just really love it. So let me show you. So this is the style and the colour, which is gorgeous. 
this ginger brown is like just a gorgeous rich ready rich brown it's beautiful and you know if i turn it around look how you know it goes very easily into the nape you would never know that i've got a little ponytail under there it's just so clever i just love it and this is how she looks on the top and then i'm going to show you from the side from the side or you can have it like i said behind the ear like that or you can pull it forward you know you can put it over your ear behind your ear and from the back gorgeous gorgeous you don't even have to have it this way you can part it any way you want you can do whatever you want with it if you're one of those ladies who like it higher just use your brush you know this is how rochelle would wear it from good Irish secret wigs you know with a lot of height in it but for me personally i just prefer it a bit of a flatter style but I really do like this wig and I love how easy it is to wear. So, you know, like tonight, I don't want a lot of hair around me. You know, I just, because I've been wearing hair all day. So I just want something light. So I'm going to unclip her, take her off, unclip it, put it back in the bag. So this is Sheila and Ginger Brown, just so she's all nice and ready for the next time I wear it. And because I label them, I know exactly what I'm wearing and when, you know, so I can just go straight in my drawer and get the wig out I want. Instead of having to take wigs out and see what they are and put them back in the drawer. I mean, it's all right if you've just got one wig or one type of wig. But, you know, if you've got many wigs, you're going to get in a mess. So that's what I do. So I've got my gorgeous Irish Spice Sheila that I'm going to put on. So I'm just going to unclip the top. And again, I'm going to put, get my thumbs at the back there and I'm going to put the front there and I'm going to tuck it in. So I'll show you from the front this time. So I'm just tucking the back in very quick. Get the two tabs at the side. And where have they gone? Yeah, let me do it again. Okay, I've put them on. I don't know what I did there. Try again, Liz. There are the tabs. Couldn't find them then. So we'll put it on. And there they are. I don't know where they went then. I couldn't find them. I think I put it too high on my head. So... Just get it in there and then I'm just going to lift it up to my hairline which is about there and then clip my clip it. Let me just make sure I've put it in the right place. Yeah I have. And look at this gorgeous red colour. I love these Irish Spice ones. I love chestnut. I love all the reds they do. You know all the reds they do. But this Irish Spice is something special. It's a really gorgeous colour. And the sun's come out as I'm doing this too to show you. So look at this, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, love it. And you know, again, just make sure that I tuck in my hair like this and at the same time, pull the hair of the wig forward. So if I show you from the side and then I'll show you with the mirror and then at the back. And you know, if you pony yourself, if you feel like it's sticking in, just move it about at the bottom so that it goes more flat like that. So that's perfect for me. And again, you know, you can part it wherever you want. You can give it volume or you can pat it down. And this is how I want to wear it. I like it with this little bang in like this. I love how I haven't got to cut it or even style it. Or I can just push it over if I want it more like out of my face. But I like it like this. So this is the colour from the side. Look how gorgeous it is. And again, how it goes into the nape. It's so pretty. And now I can have it covering my ear like that or I can have my ear out if I want to I've got a choice there and this is how she looks from the back beautiful from the other side and the colour on the top gorgeous so this is Sheila Wick a wig that I would not think of buying ever before but I just saw it on the demo video and I thought yes and you know, the most beautiful thing is Rochelle's sister Sheila is what this wig is based on. So they base this wig on her hair because she's always had short hair and pixie cuts. And she was also in the video as well when they were talking about this wig. And it just it's so cute and, you know, short and easy to wear. And this is going to be another great one for in the summertime. You know, if you don't want to have hair around you, if you need, you know, you put your sun cream on, you know, then it's the perfect wig because it's going to keep you light. 
It's going to keep you cool. It's breathable. You can hardly tell it's on your head. And if you're on the beach, it gives you that natural sun hat too, which I love. So, you know, it's just a really great style. And it's just something so different for me to wear as always having long hair. It's a real treat to wear short hair. And I love playing with it and touching it. And it feels so good. So this is a really great wig. Again, it's a great day or night wig. You know, it's great. You can wear it in the day. You can go down the shops. You can go to work in this. Do your daily routine. Be around the house. Washing the dishes. Cooking the dinner. Whatever you're doing. But you could also go out in this. Because even though it's a short style, it's very, very classic. And, you know, it's very pretty as well. And you can alter, as I said, the fringe to suit you. So maybe you want it around the face in the day, but then you want to pump it up a little bit for the night. You know, maybe you want to get some water on and, you know, kind of break it up a little bit. So it looks a bit different for the night time. Bit of punk rock style again going on. So I love it. Really like it. So this is the wig I'm going to be wearing tonight around the house. Whether my boyfriend likes it or not, I don't care. He does tend to like the longer look on me because that's how I was when I met him. But he is getting used to me in shorter styles. And he's just so cool. And I don't care what anyone thinks. I love it. If I love a wig, I'm owning that wig. I'm wearing it where I want to wear it. And I'm feeling good. And I'm feeling good. And that's how Sheila makes me feel. So let me know in the comment section what you think of this wig. I'm going to put the link for this wig in the description box below. And you can have a look at it in all the beautiful colours she comes in. And, you know, in the future, you can expect me to see, you can expect to see me in a different version of Sheila in a different colour. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.